Nikki Lily meets the king and queen of daytime TV. Oh my God. Best friend. You know I'm so close to flinging this at you. And always professional. Don't make me laugh. We want a back for this. Phil and Holly. Hi everyone, today I'm here with Phil and Holly. Hiya. Hello. Finally you are. Finally, I know. <laughs> We well, had to wait for such a long time. You guys have been time. quite busy, so... Well, you're busier. <laughs> yeah. Prime Minister, Jeremy Corbyn, Nicole Scherzinger, you know, so uh, we're, yeah, we've we've been were low down the list. Things. We feel very honoured, that's oh, for sure. Oh, well, thank you for having me. A pleasure. So, first, we're going to start off with a most likely to. Ready. Most likely to be late in the morning. I know, I'm always on time. That's really? one thing I do have going for me. I'm always on time. I'm never, ever oh, late. Because I have 40 miles to come into town. <laughs> no way. <clears throat> and oh I do get to God. work in six minutes, but... And I walk. <gasps> no, he no, doesn't. You don't. I was going to say. <laughs> also a huge liar. <laughs> <laughs> Most likely to lie, Phil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Most likely to be first up on the dance floor. Ooh. I got, oh, wrong. I got the wrong one. OK, I, I was going to say that really not a chance. <laughs> Normally me and Phil's wife, Steph, actually. Oh, really? She's yeah. got some you just serious sit moves. I like that. I've been told over the years I'm a rubbish dancer, and so really? therefore I now believe I am. Oh, no. I scarred you. My dancing days are over. Oh, That's sad. Most likely to get an A in a test. Oh, really? Well, it depends. What depends test what would that is. be? Not oh, maths. I'm be. a B girl. Always uh, have been. Bees, really? bees, 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 bees. Yeah. Um, then a C. An occasional D. Yeah, I'm a B, C, yeah. <laughs> Maybe an E. <laughs> Depends. Sometimes an F. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes a U, maybe. <laughs> it's happened. <laughs> Most likely to take a selfie. Oh. Uh, oh. You. Snapchat. Oh, my God, I love your Snapchat. Yeah, well, yeah, I guess so. But isn't that more videos? Or is it selfies, selfies, selfies? You selfie, can selfie. do a bit well, of both. Yeah, you're yeah. the queen of Instagram, so... Oh, I love Instagram. You know. So, uh, Holly yeah. for Instagram, me for Snapchat. Yes. yes. OK, most likely to use their celeb status to jump a queue. Oh. I've, I've definitely gone, like, I've rung a restaurant and, like, I've had that moment where they go, oh, we're fully booked or whatever, and then I ring back again, and instead of using Baldwin, my married name, I'll go, oh, yeah. it's Willoughby, and then occasionally... So, it's occasionally, uh, like, if I fess up, I've yeah. done that. Yeah. I phoned up and a I restaurant as Philip Schofield's manager when they were full. Did you see? Well, I like, couldn't be me, but yeah, I would never, I would never do it, like... No. Like, like, in no. like don't way. you know who I am? No. Like, no. OK, most likely to get nervous before going live. I think we're both quite yeah, we're both, similar we're with both that. Quite do you similar. guys get nervous when you do this morning anymore? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, Holly. It's my been life, a long day. In one <laughs> moment. Um, do, yeah, no, I think we both, before new things, this morning, no, not so much, yeah. because I think we know it so much now. Yeah. It's like, just like, it's a, like bunch, the back of it's a bunch of yeah. eggs on the telly. Because yeah. I, I get nervous in, like, when I do news things, but then I come on here and it's just so, like, you guys make everyone so at ease and it's Aww. really nice. Oh, that's good. Thank you. That's, that's so right. Good. OK, so what were you guys like as a teenager? At 17, I started work. Oh, for really? For the BBC. Wow. So I was the youngest person in Broadcasting House that's at 17. Amazing. So, you know, the early part, I just wanted to be on the telly. And if you asked any of my school friends what I was like, none of them can believe that I'm doing the job that I was doing now because I was so shy. Really? So I never, ever used... I had a really close group of girlfriends and I just let them do all the talking. Yeah. And I would never, ever put myself forward for anything. I used to have... Um, I used to wear a head brace at night. So I had a brace with these two great big hooks on and I hated speaking to anybody because I was so embarrassed Aww. about it. So I used to walk around school with my sleeve over my mouth and if I spoke to anybody, I would talk through my jumper. So this side of my school jumper was all, like, big and baggy and over like this. So I just, I just didn't, I didn't like it at all. Yeah. I just was not very confident. What advice would you give your younger self? I think I'd say to me, um, and it's kind of what I did, really, I kind of had to make myself go and do stuff that was out of my comfort zone. Yeah, just say yes. To yeah, things. so I was quite confident in my home and my house, like, around my family and people that I really knew and yeah. really liked. But when I was at school, if I was nervous, like, if there was a teacher there or if there were people I didn't know, that's when I'd clam up. So I think I just had to make myself go and do those things, those things that I was scared of. Yeah. I had to kind of force myself yeah, to do it. And then the more I did it, the less scary yeah. it got. Yeah, and now I totally. don't shut up, so <laughs> it worked. It did work. I think for me, actually, I was just really thinking about it then. I think I'd say to my younger self, just do it. 
just go for yeah. it. Don't change anything because you know it all worked out okay in the end, yeah. and we all make mistakes, we all mess up. Don't look back. Some and things say, go great. I wish I yeah. Had changed so this, I don't know yeah. whether I change the path in any way. Yeah. But no, I'd go back and say it's going to be okay. It'll yeah. work out all right. Oh, that's so nice. So what did you guys want to be when you were older? I wanted to do psychology a little bit later. That was something that I really wanted to do. Um, and I also wanted to run a cattery. <laughs> so they were my two things wow. that I didn't know. <laughs> Very different. <laughs> so that was the plan. I thought I was going to live in the country yeah. and run a cattery and then maybe have like a treatment room on the end. Maybe you could give the cat psychologist. A cat psychologist. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's where you've got the brains. I should that that would have been everything mm. rolled right into one. A unicorn psychologist. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, I do love unicorns. Well, we do we all do. Mm. You won't believe this, but uh, when I was and this is when I was maybe six, <laughs> seven. Oh wow, okay. I wanted to be a grave digger. What? Why? What a weird little child you were. No <laughs> point. Just don't have to go for it like that. I mean, you did say you wanted to cattery. <laughs> no, I yeah, but that's not yeah, that that's, weird. It's yeah. an important job. It is, Someone's but why? Do why? It. It's quite dumb. Don't know, Especially but I was so going to leave holes in all the lids so that just in case nobody died on so my watch. You were going to be a very courteous. I was going to be a very thoughtful grave digger. Really? Didn't last for very long. So you guys get on really well, but is there anything that annoys you about one another? I mean, I would say him go kind on, of moving my stuff around and organising my bits, but... Go for it. It's actually quite helpful sometimes. I kind of really like it. Yeah. I honestly, honest to God, hand on my heart, there isn't, there isn't anything. There really? isn't, which is amazing, bearing in mind, I spend more time with him than I probably do my own husband. <laughs> That's so funny. It's like, you just, it's, you'd think that we would drive each other bananas. Oh, no, we definitely yeah. don't. And that's we lovely. Don't. That's nice. Oh, that's so Even nice. at the end of a run, when we've been working and we've got some time off in the summer, we'll often go and see each other on holiday. Yeah, I heard you, our like, families yeah. families get together and that's it's lovely. So, cool. so, no, we're very lucky. I don't think you could do this amount of telly every day with somebody that you didn't genuinely No, definitely. Get on. And you just, you see that on TV, which is really nice. Oh, we're very lucky. Yeah. That's for sure. So, in light of the Me Too movement, what advice would you give to a 14 year old? So, like, that's my age. I think that the biggest advice I could give is is to speak up and, and to tell somebody. Definitely. Um, never ever feel alone with these things. Always share it with somebody. Um, you do have a voice and you can absolutely use it and you can absolutely be heard. Yeah. It's, uh, it is so essential that you don't lock yourself away at the end of a day and think, I didn't like that. Yeah. I don't, I don't, that didn't seem right yeah. to me. If, if you feel if there is a thread of that, then you have got, you've got to talk to somebody. Mm. And, 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 and that's not just, that's not just for, you know, the sort of Me Too issues. Yeah. But that, that's for anything. That's yeah. for... That that's makes you for feel uncomfortable. bullying. Yeah. That's for the fact that you just, for no good reason, you just don't feel brilliant about yourself. Yeah. Mm. All of those things. You just need to talk it out and talk it through. Definitely. And never feel alone or isolated. Absolutely no. not. Someone does understand, but sometimes it's hard to feel like anyone mm. does understand. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. OK, so finally, I've, I know you guys have eaten a lot on this morning today. But You've I've... always got room for more, don't you worry okay, about that? OK, good. A bit more clotted cream. This um, looks delicious. So, Shall I cut? Yeah, go for what it. Are, what, what so am I this cutting? is a uh, blackberry apple and hazelnut loaf with a clotted cream. And you made this? Oh I did indeed. And, you, and is this your own recipe that you make up? Yes. You are clever, aren't you? And I'm so impressed with anybody that can bake because I cannot bake to save my life. No. Thank you. Mm, how very lovely. This is so nice. Good, I'm glad. You are an excellent baker. Oh, thank you. Well, this is lovely. Well, thank you for letting me interview you guys. It's oh, a bit amazing. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much. much for watching, everyone, and I will see you very soon. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.